Hello friends and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word. And if you will, turn with me to Luke's Gospel, chapter 23. Today I want us to look at verse 33. The Bible says here, And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, the Lord Jesus, and the male factors, one on the right hand, and the other on the left. And I pray that God would add His blessings to the reading of His wonderful Word today. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, You Can't Trust Your Heart, or Don't Trust Your Heart. You know, one of the ironies of human nature is that it often has a way of rejecting the best and accepting the worst. Why in the world did the crowd ask for the release of Barabbas and the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, I believe that the answer is found in the Scripture. The answer is the biblical statement, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Jesus is just as divine today and just as much alive as he was on that first Good Friday. Yet millions today won't and don't accept him. His goodness is still a rebuke to our badness. His purity still shows our impurities. His sinlessness still reveals our sinfulness. And unless we allow Him to destroy the evil within us, the evil within us still wants to destroy Him. And this is the conflict of all the ages. Friends, we need to trust Jesus with our heart, and He'll make the changes in it that needs to be changed. Think about that. And pray with me. Father, we thank you so much for your precious word. And our heart is sorrowful when we think about how too many times people have chosen everything but you. Help us choose, O oh Lord, to yield ourselves to you so that you can make a change in our lives. And we'll give you praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. Trust the Lord with your heart, and He'll make changes that needs to be there. And it'll make the place that we live a better place to live in. Trust the Lord with your heart. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.